uh, yesterday we did an unbox review. So today we're going to try live shooting just to test out how accurate this is. I have to admit, yesterday I couldn't wait, so I shot a couple rounds and my neighbor was out there. We we're been shooting it. The target on top of the hill is about 21 yards. Okay, so yesterday we we're shooting at um, just below on the first level somewhere over there, close to 25 yards to 26 yards in this direction and uh, down the ground level and we can we're able to hit almost 90 percent of our pellets into that tin can actually we hit the tin can and dent it that's really cool this grouping right here those three three dots right about here in the center of the screen that's the grouping and we have one ricochet all the way to the top but as far as I'm concerned this is really good for something at 21 yards 25 yards an air pistol. Even my real revolver, just to hit 10 yards to 15 yards, the grouping is huge. Maybe the size of this cooler. But this this thing hit a grouping about this much. <laughs> so let's try it out right now. Adjust the camera. See if we can do it together. Okay, this new camera, I think I set it up. So I'm going to try to aim the target with the camera. So in the same time, we can all see. Oh, I'm gonna take the safety off. So this gun, we already shot about 50 rounds, maybe got 30, 30 more rounds in it for the CO2 can. Let's see how it turns out. What's happening? Okay. Did you hear that? First shot, we got uh, the can. It's very hard to aim, but I'm gonna try to aim from below. And I put a tracer on it, a yellow piece on the cartridge. Let me pull it out. Put a yellow cartridge piece on the cartridge. So hopefully we see the pellets flying down. That was the first round. Okay, let's try the second one. Hit. Hit. Tin can. That's a hit, hit, hit. Okay, uh, let's zoom in. See if we can get a better shot of it. Okay, let's see if we can zoom all the way in. Right about here. Okay, let's try that. Ready, set, go. So that one should be a hit, and I'm out the magazine. I switch the next to the different magazine. Let's try again. We'll zoom out just a little bit. Okay. okay. I think I've been hitting the top. Okay. Let's try to hit the thinking again. Ready, set, go. Okay, let's try again. That's a hit. I think the CO2 can is getting low, so I'm aiming a little higher now. Okay, I've just been hitting the targets now. Instead of hitting the C2 can, I mean uh, the the tin can on top, I've just been hitting the targets. Oh, it's empty. Okay. This thing is accurate as hell uh, when you have full load of a um, CO2. For us, um, first 50 shots, 45 shots, it was hitting like tin can like no others. 
uh, we just did about 16 shots through through this so the it's about what 70 66 to 70 shots now fires through the co2 can and uh, we can start to see the drop it's pretty good game all did a good job and uh, it's very accurate love it okay that would be the full test for the game so far one thing though I have to mention I'm not sure you guys can see it you see this paint chip I use this gun probably right here, you can see all that. This gun only been used maybe yeah, sixty let six seventy shots so far. The paint just comes off. That's one thing I don't like. Maybe I can repaint it, find similar paint, but it looks ugly. The paint is really soft and fragile. Same as the barrel, I can see a few very tiny paint comes off, like right here. I'm not sure you guys can see it. So overall it's a good gun, but it might not look like this. Okay, this is a little tip. So, the pellets, uh, to see the pellets in here, it's actually fairly hard. You gotta push it in, just the way they made it. Um, also, before I win there, if I go there, I have a couple different magazines. I use a uh, fingernail <coughs> fingernail paint, just to uh, differentiate which type of pellets I'm loading. Okay, just to color code it. Okay, I've got two different boxes, at least for this one. Um, I have a few more boxes for the 22, about six to seven, different kind. Uh, for this uh, 1.77, I only have two. The other one's coming. Um, so it's very hard to load it because it's it's hard. So what I did is I just go ahead and drop the pellet onto this and get you know any screwdrivers um, using the back of it to see the property. And I realized it's very efficient this way. And by me pressing my hand, using my hand, I can't get it even all the way around but because this is round in the bottom. So it's very easy for me to get it seated correctly. And I believe if you see it correctly, it will shoot correctly. I press just a little bit down. I just did. It looks really flat. I even press down a little bit, so it doesn't hurt your finger and try to press it down because the back of this pellets there, like, it's just edges and they're so small. Over time, it actually does hurt. So that was quick. I just press this. It takes me no time. Now I have 16 of them. Get done. It's faster than I press one individually. I just drop thing in, and that's it. I just took this out. The first can we use on this. Okay. So what happened was. When it gets to very low, and with the pellets in here, it doesn't have enough gas to push the pellet through the cylinder. It will actually just dims down quite a bit, and um, I guess that's the sign of all the air, I guess. And we did shoot about, well, I did shoot about 80 at least uh, before this run out. So I can confirm one cylinder from Gamo, 12 grand, you can shoot 80 pellets. About 50, around 50, uh, you lose, you can you start to hit targets, at least at 21 yards. I can hit the target dead on about f after 50, one inch, two inch, three inches down, about 21 in, uh, yards. So, so I grab a new cylinder. I realized we haven't shown last time how we use this pellet oil, pellet gun oil, uh, to seal this piece before we stick it in. And I just realized I grabbed this is a uh, uh, which one's in? Oh, just look in the hole. Okay, so this is a brand new one. This is the used one. They weigh about the same. Um, I guess air doesn't weigh that much. Actual CO2 air doesn't weigh that much. Slightly different, very slightly different. Recommend it. Drop a little on there, and I think that's where it seats. It also shows us how it seals. Gotta be careful about this. Okay, I don't want to drop this. Um, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, the the oil actually sprays out, so that's fine. I'm gonna stick it back in here. Turn around, so it looks good, and turn this on. Turning. Oh, ready, set, go. That's it. The noise. So, that's ready to go, I believe. This is a big issue with uh, this back piece. So loose. It's not bad, I can just pop it back in anytime, but it comes out. Okay. And with a new air tank. Tank. Much different. You see the the CO2 pops out. So, okay, nice.